Okay, back at it here. Okay, sorry about that, gang. The problem was is I uh, ran out of storage space on my camera. That's why it kept shutting off. So, unfortunately, this will be in sort of like four or five short little vids. So, anyway, here's the finished product. I'm quite happy with it. it looks good. From a distance. See it a mile away. It's nice. It's what I want. So, see if I can. I don't know if I can get in there really tight. If you can see how that the structure of this leaf lends it to uh, really being able to see all the different colors when you get up close. So you can see everything in behind and in between. So your dry brush is just, you're just layering and layering, but you get all that cool effect of those other colors coming through. So that's why the dry brush on these leaves, just what, what I find, the Gunra just lends itself to this really cool effect. And like it's the same with this guy over here too. That you can see, like I guess maybe from a distance it doesn't look, but see when you can see up, you could still see the terracotta and the other colors. They're like, like in person, it really looks cool, these things when you get up close to them. Okay, I hope that's helped everybody out with the dry brush technique. That's probably it for a little bit there. Um, now I don't know why that's all foggy like that. Uh, there we go. Um, so maybe what I'll do in the next little bit, you know, in a few weeks, I'll, I'll do a fall color one for you. Uh, those are good sellers too, and they're kind of some cool effects you can get with them. Okie doke, everybody. So I hope you enjoyed those few little tutorials and... Uh, you know, maybe I'll start keeping you up to touch what's what's going on with these guys over there, too. And I just got a delivery of 40 pounds of clay yesterday, so uh, there's more nonsense to get into. Okie doke, folks. See you later.